hi welcome to my channel my name is hamida and in this video i'm going to show you how to calculate active surfactant matter for your cleansing product so um, whenever you purchase a cleansing surfactant they are mostly available in dilute form they are already in the form of a solution and um, the amount of each surfactant that is present in um, in that particular solution is not always 100 percent that is it has been diluted and for you to be able to use the right amount of surfactant in your cleansing formulations you need to calculate the actual amount of surfactants that is present in that solution and that is this is what we're going to be looking into in this aspect so uh first of all let's uh what is active surfactant matter active surfactant matter is the percentage that represents the concentration of a particular surfactant and um, as i said before whenever you purchase um whenever you purchase a surfactant it is not always in the pure form it, are, it has already been diluted and which is why you need to calculate the actual amount of surfactants that is present in that solution so for example if uh, the ASM of a particular ingredient or of a particular cleansing surfactant is stated to be 60%. What it means is um, that particular surfactant actually contains 60% active surfactant in it and the remaining 40% is water. So in order for you to use the right amount of surfactant in your formulation, you need to know the value of that particular, you need to know the ASM value of that particular surfactant. And then you're going to calculate the amount of surfactant matter you would need to achieve a level of cleansing or foaming or whatever reason you are using that surfactant for in your formulation. Right now, I'm going to show you how to calculate active surfactant matter using uh, some examples using a face wash example so before i go on uh, uh, let's talk about the formula itself in order for you to calculate active surfactant matter you're going to use the formula a divided by b and the value you get is going to be multiplied by 100 so in this formula a stands for the value or the active surfactant matter of the surfactant in that formula that is the amount you want to use in that particular formula the asm value you want to have in your formula let's take for example you're trying to use a particular surfactant like um decal glucoside uh, at four percent in your formula so that four percent is not actually four percent when you add uh, four percent decal glucoside to your formula and um, in order to get the uh, actual four percent that is what why we are calculating the active surfactant matter using this formula so um a in this case stands for the actual concentration of decal glucoside that should be in your formula and b stands for the total active surfactant matter of that particular ingredient or that particular surfactant in this case we're using the glucoside as example so b stands for the total active surfactant matter of the glucoside that is the uh, amount of the glucoside that is actually present in the the glucoside solution so let's take for example you're trying to make a gentle face wash with 6.5 percent active surfactant matter and you're going to be using and we're going to be using three different surfactants for this particular formulation the primary surfactant for this formulation is alpha olefin sulfonate and the particular alpha olefin sulfonate that i'm using as example in this case has an active surfactant matter of 39 percent now the second surfactant is coco glucoside and coco glucoside has an active surfactant matter of 51 percent and um, the last one is the coco betaine and uh, it has an active surfactant matter of 30 percent so right now i'm going to be calculating the amount i'm going to need for each of the surfactants in my formulation so moving on to calculate this the first thing you need to do is to uh, assign um, values at the, uh, the uh, percentage or the concentration of each surfactant you want in your formula so you should all you should keep in mind that at the end of the day the total 
must be equal to 6.5 and majorly your primary surfactant should have the larger share so our primary surfactant in this case is alpha olefin sulfonate so i'm using alpha olefin sulfonate at three percent cocoa glucoside at two percent and cocoa amidropapil betaine at 1.5 percent so those are the values so now we're going to calculate the actual amounts that we're going to need to achieve uh, each of those values in our formulation and um, using the formula a divided by b then the value multiplied by 100 percent starting with alpha olefin sulfonate i'm using alpha olefin sulfonate at three percent asm in my formula and so it's going to, it's going to be 3 divided by 39, which is the total active surfactant matter of alpha olefin sulfonate in the solution. So the value I get is going to be multiplied by 100%, and I'm going to obtain um, the value, the actual amount of ASM that I need to, uh, sorry, the total amount of alpha olefin sulfonate that I need to add to my formula to obtain 3% concentration which is 7.69. So this is repeated for the kil uh, for cocoa glucoside as well. 2 divided by 51 multiplied by 100. 2 is the concentration, is the actual concentration that I want to achieve. 51 is the total active surfactant matter in that cocoa glucoside solution. So the value I got multiplied by 100% will give me the actual amount of cocoa glucoside that I need to incorporate into my formula, which is 3.92. So this same uh, process is repeated for cocoa amidropapil betaine, 1.5 divided by 30, and then the value I get is multiplied by 100 to give me a 5% input of cocoa amidropapil betaine. So this is how you would calculate the active surfactant matter for any cleansing surfactants that you want to use in your cleansing formulation. I hope this video was helpful. Do let me know how this video has helped you, and if you have any questions whatsoever, Leave it in the comments below. Thank you for watching.